Live from the Newsmax studio in New York City, here is Steve Malzberg. And welcome back to the Steve Malzberg Show. I am Mary Walter. I, I don't know if everybody knows this, but there is an invasion, literal invasion happening along our southern border. And you as taxpayers are paying for this invasion along our southern borders. And it's being, uh, this, this invasion from our southern borders is being spread throughout the entire country with plane loads of uh, immigrants, illegal immigrants, being flown to places such as Massachusetts. Here to join us to talk about what's going on and how it affects you and what can be done about it is Mark Krikorian. Mark is the executive director of the Center for Immigration Studies, and he is also a columnist for the National Review. Mark, thank you for joining us. How are you today? Good. Thanks for having me. So this, this invasion that's happening along the southern borders, we always know there's been an influx of people coming from Central America, South America, here to this country illegally. But the last two weeks, we've seen an influx of children, unescorted minors, who are just coming to this country that their parents are paying professional smugglers to bring these kids here. And they're estimating now that in the next two years, we could see upwards of quarter of a million of adolescents and literally children coming here to this country. What is going on? How come within the last two weeks this has just literally just been a deluge of people? Well, this has been growing the past couple of years. Uh, it's just that it got to such a level that even the uh, you know mainstream media has started to pay attention to it. And what has sparked this is the Obama administration's own non-enforcement policies. Um, things are pretty bad in Central America. There's no question about that. In fact, Honduras, Guatemala, and El Salvador, where these people are mainly coming from, actually make Mexico look pretty good. Uh, but you need more, you need two things. You don't just need a push that makes people want to leave. They also have to get word back from the United States that they'll actually be able to get in and will be let go to live here. And that's what the Obama administration has done over the past couple of years. They have made very clear that regular illegal aliens who aren't drug dealers or killers, when taken into custody, for the most part, will just be let go. And that's what they're doing. Right. And, and from what I understand, even the newspapers and a lot of the television broadcasts in these countries are telling people, if you can make it to America, they'll pick you up, they'll house you, they'll feed you, they'll take care of you, send your kids. The Americans are wonderful. They'll take care of your children, too. Um, and so we're not sending these people back. And a lot of them were being dumped in Arizona, which, let me ask you, is that, to me, that just seems like political payback to Jan Brewer, because because she dared to um, question Obama's authority. I mean, they are sending them to other places too, but yes, they are. They were yeah. giving families or moms with kids. Most of these people are not, in fact, it's not like this four-year-old wandering around the desert. These are all either teenagers, um, teenage boys, or their mothers with younger kids. What they did with the family units is a lot of them, they just gave them bus tickets to go to Phoenix. Mm -hmm. and, then, and then the administration had the gall to demand that the state of Arizona provide uh, health funding and, and uh, vaccinations and what have you for these people that it had sent to Arizona. I mean, really, uh, in Yiddish, they call that chutzpah. <laughs> exactly. So, so the National Association of Former Border Patrol Officers are claiming that this is an orchestrated invasion and it's being orchestrated by this administration for political purposes. Now, I find it hard to believe that they're going to bring in this many people and allow this to happen just to get back at Jan Brewer. So what are they doing? What is the point of this? Well, no, this isn't just obviously about Jan Brewer, and they're sending them to other places too. Fort Sill in Oklahoma is getting them. They're sending some to California. Massachusetts. And like you said, they're sending them to Massachusetts and other right. places too. I actually don't think that they had, uh, the administration actually kind of planned out, okay, we hope this is going to happen and this is how we're going to orchestrate it. I think that their own policies, to refusing to obey the, to obey the law or enforce the law, they're um, basically viewing this flow of any really flow of illegal immigrants as more a humanitarian refugee issue rather than law enforcement. In other words, something that we have to take them in is the way they look at it. We're right. morally obliged. And this now is basically kind of blown up in their face. I think they, they want it to go away. It's just that they are unwilling, they refuse to do the things that's necessary to make it go away, which is 
you hold everybody, nobody's let go into the country, everybody is removed, and the president gets on the horn to Central America, interview with the newspapers down there, and says, you know, uh, the party's over, don't even come because we've shut this down. That's what it takes to stop it. This administration, this president, I don't think actually have the backbone to do that. Yeah, I, I was going to say, I don't think they want to. And one of the things I've been hearing a lot of is Cloward Piven. And, and there were two professors in the 60s who want, said if you want to overthrow a, um, a capitalist society, you create a crisis or use a crisis if you have it. If you don't have it, you create it. And you make it to be an, something that the, the economy cannot economically sustain. And you mask it using words such as humanitarian. Now, they founded ACORN, and Obama was a lawyer for ACORN, and not to sound, you know, grassy knoll conspiracy theory here, but it all does kind of dovetail nicely together. Could this administration be doing this on purpose? You overwhelm the economy, well, and, and you crash it. Yeah, I, I don't think so. I think it's a different thing. In other words, okay. these guys don't need to sit around and have a conference call and decide to do this. They all look at the world the same way. Mm -hmm. So even without having a meeting they all come to the same conclusion and they really are they really are wanting to take advantage of this opportunity though to basically uh pry open america's borders basically make it impossible for right. us to remove anybody who isn't a murderer or a drug dealer so that anyone else who wants to come in will be able to do so okay so let me ask you then what does that do to me a taxpayer because i'm already this is, is this not going to overwhelm our schools is it not going to overwhelm our social services what about our medical services these people get food stamps i mean how i can only work so many jobs uh yeah the you know the fact is that there are uh, we're already spending two billion or appropriated two plus billion dollars to care for these uh people the kids and families because they have to be housed they have to be fed uh they you know they need to be doing the public health checks they're getting right. vaccinations because sure. border patrol agents are actually getting skin diseases and stuff Absolutely. i mean it's really bad yeah. and that's just the start of it what happens in september when tens of thousands of kids show up in school districts that nobody expected uh no this is a serious problem but you know really if there were some reason to allow it then the you know you spend the money you have to spend but that's not what this is this is essentially the cost is a you know is kind of a an extra problem right. created by this our unwillingness to enforce the law well, mark krikorian executive director of the center for immigration studies communist for the national review thank you so much for your time and helping to bring attention to this cause thank you and don't forget if you would like to get in touch with us tell us what you think we want